come thrifting with me. I am going to go for a run after this, and so I put on some new SPF that has, like, tint and glow in it. I think it's actually called Woe Glow, and whoa, um, I'm not sure I was ready for this glow. It looks kind of muddy to me, but anyway, be kind. Let's go thrifting. I'm headed back to my favorite thrift store and that little owl salt and pepper shaker has been on my mind. Someone asked me if the part that came apart, if the bottom was like the pepper shaker and the top was the salt, never crossed my mind. I saw the cork and I just put it back. So I'm going to check that out. And then I was kind of thinking I might use it to store some of my needles for my new stitchery that I'm into. Apparently this is now a stitchery page. I'm kidding, but I know it's getting to be a lot. I will try and refrain. With all that being said, let's get to it. Let's go thrifting. I found myself having a lot of patience on this day, so I definitely was patient in digging through items. So sorry, it is a multi-part thrifting trip, but most of you guys say you don't mind. Some new plates had been added to the plate displays. I did see these Norman Rockwell ones, which looked really cool. I liked this one, um, the serving of the turkey. I know that's not the name. It's probably called like Thanksgiving or something. But I thought about getting this for Thanksgiving and having it up during that time of year. I think it would be really cute. But I decided since it was blues and not really fall colors, it wouldn't fit in. So I put it back. And I am not a blue and white decorator, but some of you do such cute things with them that sometimes I question if I should be. These plates were really cute. Someone definitely had a collection of them, but um, no states that really resonated with me. And then, of course, I saw a basket with a lid, so I had to check that out. But I sat and tried to get that lid off for a long time, and I decided I think it's glued on. Then I saw this milk glass uh, vase, maybe, and it just really looked like it would match my Easter decor and match my little milk glass lamp that I got. The shape is really cute, too. I could see some grass in there and some eggs, so even though it's $2.50, I went ahead and got it. And Carol Burnett finally joined the rest of the Annie Plate crew. This little wooden fan was super cute, and I thought it'd be cute on my trinket shelf, but I just thought it was too wide and it might not fit on any of the shelves, so I left it. Then I checked out the candles to see if there was any good deals there. Um, they had some just basic cream colored candles, but uh, none that were cheap enough I felt like was a good deal or a steal, so I left them. As you know, I also really like candles that are different things and kind of weird, but I'm trying to move away from blue, so I left that. This sombrero was so cute, and they also had a whole bunch of chili necklaces, I assume for Cinco de Mayo, um, a whole bunch of really cute stuff, but we, we don't make too big of a deal out of it, so I ended up leaving them. And then here's the owl, and now looking at it, it's a toothpick holder. I can see that more clearly now. <laughs> Definitely not two shakers put together, and so I haven't decided if I want to use it for needles or toothpicks, but I know I have to have it, so coming home with me. I looked at the magnets, and am, am I crazy? Because I, I really kind of like this guy. I didn't know right away where I would put him. I kind of thought on the garage door it would be fun because it's metal, and he would stick, and he would shake when it was open, but um, I could I could be talked into him. Moving on to the vintage corner, they had this little tin box. Not sure what it is. If it's a safety deposit box, maybe like an old one. I don't know. Tell me if you guys know what it is. But $3 and super, super cute. I didn't have a use for it, but you guys know I'm a container person, so I loved it. Then I saw this little wooden box and love it. Love the little brass kind of hinge on the side, or I guess, I don't know if it's a hinge or if it's just decorative. Either way, super cute. Um, I love the wood color. I don't know what I would keep in here. I feel like it could be sewing or just decoration. I decided to get it. I had to check one more time. It is only a dollar, and yes, it is. So it's coming home with me. And this little doll dresser is $13, but it would be really cute for sewing stuff too. Um, I Basically, if the drawers were straight, I think I could talk myself into it. But I left it. But look at the little chair. I have not seen a... Uh, creamer pourer like this before. I thought it was very cute. I feel like it's kind of like when plastics were kind of hitting the scene. He's kind of creepy, but I kind of also dig him. It added some other really cute kitchen vintage stuff, and I definitely like it, but since it's in the vintage corner, it's just priced a little higher than I'm used to, and that's definitely not circular anymore, but it's also blue and white. 
Sometimes I question if I should have done silver and black instead of brass and black because that's just so cute. Then this little plate caught my eye. It was a wooden plate and the colors were just so vibrant. Um, definitely more of like an Eastern vibe. But when I turned it over and I saw the ducks, I was like, what ducks? And here they are on this shelf, kind of hidden. And they're all wooden and just so detailed and so intricate. Um, $35 was more than I would like to spend on something like this. But um, I, I think they'll find the right home. So I pulled them out to the shelf a little bit further so people could see them. Then I saw another basket with a lid and the basket lid just didn't come off well. So I just immediately gave up and walked away. Can you believe that these glasses are still here? And I've always wanted to have a cookout and serve hamburgers in these. That would be so fun. I continued to look at all the kitchen gadgets. This would be great if this worked. Do you guys know of these? How Do you have one? Does it work? Because that would be fantastic. I left it because I don't believe it won't smash it. So let me know. They kind of refilled the kitchen uh, totes. So I was looking and Connie and Larry, 1967. It's kind of sad that it ended up here. Unless they got like a divorce or something, then I guess that makes sense. Then I spotted a little thermometer. I always just call these candy thermometers. I don't know what they're actually called. I do not have one of these and I've wanted one and this seemed like the perfect time. It was on sale. It's Pyrex, great shape. Very excited about that. This was such a cute piece if you did the farmhouse kind of thing. I've never been a farm girl though, so I just can't relate. These are really great for organizing plates, but I just don't have a use for them. I organize mine differently. And you guys know I love a good melamine bowl. This is so cute. I just don't know how I would use it. I mean, I know several ways to use it, but nothing that I don't already have. And what a great cake stand. It's Wilton. It's like extremely heavy and it rotates for decorating. Um, $10, but that's a really good find for someone. I loved this serving plate. It looks like a Corel, maybe. Um, I don't know for sure, but they were always just so thin. I always get nervous handling them. It's still really cute, though. That bowl down below is what I grew up with. We had that print. Here was another candy dish, and I tell you, this lid was heavy. This was a much more heavy-duty version um, than the one I saw the other day, but way more expensive, too. So you guys know I've been looking at this set every time I come here. Well, they had two sets this time, just slightly different. It makes me feel like someday I'll be able to get a whole set for a really good price. You guys remember that TV tray I got? Well, here was a set of four, and I think $8 is a really fair price. These look almost identical to the one I have, but they have a slightly higher edge on them, which I like. We have five people in our family, so five TV trays? Absolutely. Although I did have someone warn me that if you scratch your leg on the corners that it'll really cut into you. I feel like I can relate to that, you know? I thought this table was interesting and um, very, you know, beachy, coastal, even though we're in the Midwest. It does make me kind of sad because it looks like it was probably a killer mid-century table at one point that someone DIY'd, but to each their own. Just maybe not for me. I absolutely love these vanities, but is it just me or are they like extremely close to the ground? I'm trying to show you here. It's like my kneecap. What do you even sit on at these? Like a, a poof? So cute, but it just feels so low. And this plant stand is definitely giving late 90s, but I had a moment where I was like, do I buy baskets and put them on each spot for my cats? It could get really cute if you got the right baskets. And I spied on the cart from the back a mug holder. I don't love the blue, but I, a dollar, it's mine. I'm not questioning it. Still only holds four though, darn it. I saw this 25 cent ruler. It looks like it's a little bit older. I love decorating with these in my husband's office, but I thought it might be kind of nice to have in my stitchery area as well. I might need it in the future. They also had some book covers that looked a little bit older, but um, my daughter's middle school requires book covers and so next year she's going to need some. And I thought that one was cute. So I grabbed it. She would never use the blue one. So I left it. I have a lot of sessions when I thrift and I feel like old notebooks is definitely one of them. I actually almost got that even though we have plenty of paper. We also have a couple of these and I wanted to get this one anyway. <laughs> it's such an interesting color. I do also like getting older coloring books. My kids all still color. I still color. So it's nice to have extras and they're cute because they're vintage and cheap. 
this looked like something my son would enjoy. And so I got it for him. He loves being quizzed on stuff like this. And this way he can quiz himself. He's a smart cookie. And I feel like this one's going to backfire because he's going to know more than I do someday. And he'll be sure to let me know. Moving on to the baskets, I did spot a basket with a lid. And it had coasters inside, which was a pleasant surprise. Um, I don't really need any coasters, but it did come with six. And four dollars is a good deal. It's just not something I need right now. But super cute. That won't be here next time. Speaking of something that'll go quickly, look at this picnic basket. I don't have this green in my home at all. Um, so I did pass. I know I'm going to hear about it, but oh my goodness, is it not just the cutest thing? It would be so cute for crocheting items, all sorts of stuff. I like to think I inspired some people here. Definitely giving myself too much credit, but a lot of the floss was gone. I am still looking for some stitchery items. I am looking for some sewing scissors specifically like these, small and sharp. I really like these. They're really cute, but I would like some that are a little bit more vintage looking. I found a bigger set last time, so I have some that'll work in the meantime. While I was looking, I did find these tiny glasses. Oh my goodness. If you didn't already know, I'm going to put these on my trinket shelf and I am so excited about it. It might be my favorite trinket ever. I've looked at these thimbles a couple different times. I wish they didn't group them. They're like $1.50 for the entire bag. And I feel like there are some cute ones in there that I wouldn't mind having alone. But I just can't talk myself into getting the whole bag for $1.50. But they are really cute. Especially like the mug one. I found another bin of kits and I saw this one. I've learned that I need to find ones with a pattern. That's really important because I need it and counted cross stitch is not for me. So even though I liked that print, not the frame, um, I ruled it out because I cannot, I need a pattern. This is really cute and for Easter it'd be so cute, but no pattern. <laughs> Maybe I'll work up to that. I, I need to master the stitchery first. There were so many 90s options in here. I would have loved to have done that for my sister. That would have been fantastic, but sorry. Sis, can't do it. And then I found the ghost of Christmas past. How terrifying. Why? I kind of wish I could make her, and then I would give that to my sister also as a joke. After looking at all of them, I did end up just landing on the first one I saw, the little water pump. I really hope that I can nail that one because I think it's cute. These are all adorable and they'd be so cute at Easter time for spring, but um, I just can't because Easter's over. I just keep talking myself out of it. I love the shape of this and the size. I wish it had different colors, but I do love it. While waiting in line, I did see this card, of course. It's a get well soon card. Always, they're always get well soons, but it was too cute to pass up for 25 cents. So overall, I spent $21.30 and $8 of that is the TV trays. It was a successful trip. 